Gospel 5 is the home of your flash flooding coverage here for 2018. This week, we've been telling you stories of destruction and rebuilding. Tonight, we went out to Windsor Heights where the city was underwater this weekend. Local 5's Angelina Salcedo is in the newsroom tonight. And Angelina, you met a family who spent their 4th of July holiday going through their belongings. Well, the Beckers say today wasn't just any holiday for them. They have spent the last four days going through what was in their flooded basement, and their work is far from over. Driving around Windsor Heights, you can see it. Piles of belongings, carpets, and furniture. But the Beckers' pile will get you to stop and stare. I can't even name everything that's in there, honey, because when we started attacking down there, there's no taking time to pick and choose. It's just get it, throw it in and get it out of here. Their basement was filled with almost five feet of water. It looked like we had a waterfall coming out of our door. This has never happened before, and this is like, it's just a freak out moment, like an absolute freak out moment. Water from the backyard creeped its way into their home, destroying almost everything in its path. This whole air, but thing, you could not walk down here. And this is where it was pouring through my house. Now what's left is cleanup. This room was full of, had finished walls, paneling, we had to tear it all out. We uh, pumped out, the, we uh, rented pumps and pumped out the water. Complete devastation, we lost Completely a lot, a lot of pictures of memories. Memories are gone, and the moments from that night are something Kathy says her and her family will never forget. My husband even says the sooner this leaves our yard, the better, because it's just one more weight off of our shoulders. Now, Kathy's brother lived in the basement as well, so this has affected two families, not just one. They're both looking for a way to move forward and are hoping for the best. In the newsroom, Angelina Salcedo, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa.